Good evening, everyone. Uh, Samuel Molina, S-A-M-U-E-L-M-O-L-I-N-A. Um, I'm the California State Director of Mi Familia Vota, and I'm also a veteran. Uh, I come here today to speak out in opposition of Scott, uh, Director Pruitt's attempts to roll back the clean power plan. And I represent thousands of Central Valley residents who have asthma and who have lived in the worst air conditions our country has ever seen. Um, born and raised in Fresno, I, like many others, have asthma. I recall um, having my first asthma attack while sitting in my economics class in senior year. I remember not being able to breathe. For a moment, I did not understand what was happening to me, and I began to panic. Fortunately for myself, I was able to borrow an inhaler from a friend of mine, which sustained me. As an asthmatic, I completely understand the necessity for the clean power plan and for the importance of cutting our emissions so that our children can breathe cleaner air. The health consequences for people in my area begin at childhood with asthma and other respiratory diseases and then carry on into adulthood and compound with heart disease and other cardiovascular issues, all of which are aggravated by pollution. A clean power repeal would only benefit big polluters and place profits over communities while contributing to climate change. Climate change, which is directly affected by CO2 emissions, has exasperated our drought conditions here in California and has brought the Central Valley to its knees. Most recently, we've had four executive orders to address the drought in California, and Governor Brown has even called for a state of emergency because of our drought conditions here in California. The Central Valley has its, and even though the state has had uh, their water restrictions lifted, the Central Valley has not. Farmers do not have enough water for crops, and other community members do not have enough water to shower, to drink, or to even wash their clothes. In 2015, California lost more than 24,000 jobs and over half a million acres of farmland because of the drought. We need to take stronger actions to curb the effects of climate change. We need to continue to keep the clean power plan. For more than a decade, our own military has been studying the detrimental effects of climate change, and they find that it also impacts our national security. The Military Advisory Board has gone on record stating that the consequences are grave and it is important that the military begin planning to address these potentially devast devastating effects. The consequences of climate change can affect organization, training, equipping, and planning of the military services. As a member of armed forces, I can tell you that training in the excruciating heat of Yuma, Yuma Arizona is no day in the park. And these are conditions that shouldn't be following us around the rest of the world. Additionally, Congress passed the National Defense Authorization Act, noting that climate change is, imp is impacting stability in areas of the world, both where our armed forces are operating today and where strategic implications for future conflict exist. Climate change is a threat to our communities, to our economy, and to our national security. Without a doubt in my mind, Director Pruitt is taking our country in the wrong direction in our environmental efforts. Instead of seeking to repeal the Clean Power Plan, he should be finding ways to strengthen it. Thank you.